I'm going to take off this toolbox and seat spring. And those bolts go right into the transmission there, so I need to clean out the stuff with the vacuum cleaner. So now I'm still worried about the dirt in the transmission, so I'm going to clean off these bolts. And I'm going to vacuum the top. Alright, I want to take these wheel weights off next. These are held on by square headed bolts with square headed nuts. So I struggled with this for a while. And the problem is that you can't see. The head of the bolt is recessed into the back of the rim where you can't really get a wrench on it so the bolt keeps turning so luckily they're pretty well exposed and so I'm just gonna cut the nuts off here So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your grinding wheel does not touch the weight. And so I don't grind all the way through the nut. I have to finish by breaking the nut apart after I've weakened it.
the back of these weights are shaped so they fit into that rim there. In an effort to identify these wheel weights properly, let's find out what they weigh. So I got this sold farm scale here, and I got my beam zeroed out, so it's ready to weigh something. So we're just going to weigh one of them here. I got that balanced pretty well. And this says just a hair under 19 pounds. So I'll bet they would call that a 20 pound weight. So I went looking for some documentation on those wheel weights. And here's a flyer from 1956. And on the back there, it lists the WW-12 wheel weights per set, 20 pounds each, for a total of 40 pounds. Now here's a flyer from 1958, showing that it has the new Unidrive transmission. And on the back of that sheet, it also lists the WW-12 wheel weights, 20 pounds each. But those didn't have any pictures, so how do I know the WW-12 that started in 1956 is the same weight that I got? Well, here's a flyer from 1960. And on the back of it, it actually shows a picture of them and tells the part number. So there's the picture of them in figure 5, and it says rear wheel weights, WW-12, 20 per set. So interestingly, I kept looking a little farther, and here's a 62 brochure, and it has a picture on the back of some wheel weights, but it says 30 and 50 pounds are available. Now if you look at the pictures and turn it a little bit and set it next to that other one here, it looks like it's the same picture. Alright, I want to take the engine off next, so I've got to get rid of this drive belt. This old fuel line's hard as a rock. We'll just cut that in the middle.
this kill wire is already disconnected just got to wrap it around here and make sure it stays with the engine now I'm going to go for these four engine bolts here I got four of these car dollies years ago and I just put a board across there and use them to move heavier stuff around. Alright, this fuel tank's just held on with one bolt, but there's a lot of thread sticking out the back there, so I'm going to put some PB blaster on the threads. Alright, that looks usable there. Got a bunch of rust in the bottom. We'll deal with that later. Alright, this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to keep tearing it apart till I get down to the frame and the transmission. And then everything gets cleaned and put back together. Alright, that's it for now.